Hey hey, spring old days, in Platero. Okay Capricorn, this is going to be a reading for you. I've got a nail that's trying to break. Hopefully it doesn't succeed <laughs> right now. So let's get into Capricorn's reading. Okay, the star card. You know, the star card is a wish come true. Um, it's also healing and balance and bringing something... I feel like I'm getting full circle. There's something... Okay, we got the hair of fawn out. So, I feel like that um, something you've asked for... Because on the bottom, if you look, it's, it's like looking, like asking, like begging, like pleading. It's like it's coming to fruition. So, wish come true. Wish, wish being granted. This is about love. This is about a new um, beginning in love. Does not have to be... Uh, a new relationship. It can be an existing relationship that has more fulfillment, more um, emotion, more um, this is love. That's pretty much what it is. Okay, we got the Queen of Swords out, so um, okay. Okay. Someone from the past, this is someone that's been hurt a lot. Um, Queen of Swords could be an air sign you're dealing with. Uh, star card, card of Aquarius. Um, and then we have the Queen of Swords, which could be uh, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, this is looking back at the past. This person um, has been through a lot. Now... If you look at the door, the door has a lot of light and heat coming from it. But it's almost as though it's guarded. You see the dog? It's, it's like it's being guarded. Um, this has got a feeling of this person guards their heart. Um, so I don't know if this is you or if this is someone that you're dealing with. But they guard their hearts. Uh, they guard themselves. And it, it all stems because of the past. Um, they have a lot of, of love to give with the Knight of Cups. A lot to offer, whoever this is. It's either you or it's someone you're dealing with. Uh, Seven of Wands. This person, um, whoever this is, they keep themselves kind of tethered. They keep themselves um, tucked away. It, it's as though, um, it's almost like fear of being hurt. If you'll look, she is grasping a head. It does not have to be a female. This can be a male energy. Um, you know, it's just the energy. You know, it's just the energy. It does not have to be a female. Um, this can be a male. Energy of the cards. Um, but there's healing up there. So, this person has been hurt so much. And it's almost like they're just saying, go ahead, go ahead. This is someone that, um, they move with grace, but they move with truth. Because I'm drawn to the swords. And again, that is a pair. Uh, we've got temperance out today. So, yeah. Um, this is a balanced energy. This is someone that's balancing themselves. They've had so many storms because I'm drawn to how there is storms in the past. Um, you, you know, you could be dealing with a Taurus or possibly even a Sagittarius. Um, but this person, they, they want truth. They want honor. They want... Um, And that this could be you, or this is someone that's in your life now, or is coming into your life. This is someone that wants truth. They don't want any drama. They don't want any um, thing that they've had from the past. Yeah, see here. They don't want to get bit. Once bitten, twice shy. See there. This person does not want to be bitten. They do not want um, 
things that aren't balanced with justice being here. They want what's mis meant for them. Excuse me. This is someone that is um, very uh, seductive. A seductive energy. I'm not getting a bad energy, though, but this is someone that's been hurt a lot. Um, they've got a lot of strength, but they found their strength within themselves. Whoever you're dealing with, they're very fiery. They may have a lot of um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their birth chart, as well as they may have Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, could possibly have Taurus in there or Sagittarius, like I said. But this person is very um, vibe, high vibe. You know, someone who uh, vibes high. The thing is, is um, things are not clear. The moon card here. Things are not clear, um, clear about this. And that may be... You know, where we have some difficulty, you know, if this is not you and this is someone you're dealing with, you know, it may be a rather difficult not knowing exactly what to expect from this person. For Capricorn, romantic. Can you show us romance? Triumph. Ace of Wings. This could be, um... Okay, it's according to your perspective. Judgment's out. Um, okay, give me just a minute. Love, love has come out. Okay, we've got the Empress out. This is someone that knows their worth and their value. They've been hurt so much that they've learned it through trial. Um, so they've had their own, their own karma that they've dealt with. Um, creative, this is someone very creative. We got creativity. Um, we've got hope. The star card is out twice. So this is a very uh, healing energy, a very healing connection. We've got sacrifice and we've got love. Someone has to sacrifice something for love. So it's, it's kind of like uh, something has to be given up in order to have love. Um, kind of like if someone was, um, okay, say you, you um, choose wealth over a true love you see what i'm saying it's like someone has to give up something in order to have this love uh, with this sacrifice and it may just be a way of looking at things or a way of thinking about things or um being right all the time or um it could be something material it could also be giving up um people you know, if the energy is not, if someone's clinging on to the energy of someone that's not for their higher good, it could be like that. Um, let me see. And our extended, I'm going to ask a little more about this person, but I'm also feeling like I need to ask about, I feel like, I feel like there's a third person. Um, is there a third, third person? Yeah. This is someone that um, there may be children with, someone who guards, and that may be what this is about. It does not actually have to be um, family, family, but see, it's holding someone. Someone feels like they feel tied to someone, tethered to someone, because it feels like um, children or family. Um, yeah. And it's a strong, it's it's something strong holding them back. But what it is, it's all in in their head. It's it's within them. They're holding themselves back because it's a choice that they make. What they want in their life, what they don't want in their life, you know, um, such as that. So in the extended, I'm gonna look a little further. On I will look um, on both of these people, um, and I'm gonna ask, you know. I just want to see a little further look, see on that. And then uh, we're definitely going to look at, for sure, um, Aquarius, if you're dealing with Aquarius. We're going to look at if you're dealing with a Cancer. Um, 
if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus, let me get a look, say Leo, okay, let's see, what else, who else is pointing, sticking out to me, um, <laughs> that's really what's sticking out to me. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to look at, um, oh wait a minute, let me see. Oh, I got another one sticking out at me. I'm going to look at Aries as well. Okay, I'm going to look at Aquarius, Libra, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Taurus, and Cancer. Um, and then I will ask some question because this is... It feels like you're dealing with two people here. Uh, one, it feels like, you know, there's some sort of connection to, but it's almost like it's held together just by family um, up here. And then this down here is more like a connection that's really strong, could be a soulmate connection, but that person harbors a lot of pain. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure where that's coming in. So, we're going to ask a little more about that. Um, if you like the readings, thumbs up. Please do subscribe. And uh, much light and love. Till next time. Bye.